Okay, there we go. My name is Dan Oaks. I'm the creator of the Cooking Recipe Organizer. And I'm sitting here with a family friend, Christy Smith. She's also a recipe enthusiast. She loves cooking, right? I do, absolutely. And she's a mother of four. Four, three boys, one girl. Well, let's go ahead and launch it. When you launch cooking for the first time, this is what you see. The first thing you're going to want to do when you get the cooking mobile app installed on your device is to go here and log in to your cooking cloud account. Oh, okay. What this is going to do is then download all of your recipes from the cloud to your device. And it's best to plug in to a power outlet because it can take a while. You don't want your phone to run out of batteries right in the middle oh, of down sure, yeah, your recipes. Sense. And in fact, sometimes it's best to do it at night right before you go to bed. That way you can just let it run through the night without worrying about getting a phone call and having it get interrupted in the middle. Once it's done down syncing all your recipes from the cloud, then you can tap on this cookbook icon here and you can see your cookbooks. In this case, in my account, I just have the two cookbooks. And in this cookbook, these are the chapters and you can click through here and see the different recipes. So it's a neat way to have all your recipes at your fingertips and you can click around and navigate through. And especially if you're you know, in the kitchen or out at a friend's house and you want to share a recipe or look up a recipe mm -hmm. of your own, then it's neat to be able to have it there at your fingertips. It's also nice if you want to modify a recipe, like this Rave City Ribs recipe, for example. Let's say you're in the kitchen and you're eating this recipe and you're like, you know what? This recipe has too much brown sugar. I mean, one tablespoon is too much. And so you can go through here and you can actually edit this recipe. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say, you know what? Brown sugar, one tablespoon, too much. So right from the kitchen table, I can go in here and say, no, no, no. I'm going to say one teaspoon, let's just say. Oh, that's great. You can edit it right there. Yeah. And so that way you can edit your recipes. Another thing that you can do that's really fun is um, like in this Taste of Home cookbook right here. Let's go to the desserts chapter. And you'll notice that some of the recipes have food photos. You can see by that thumbnail there. Yeah. But some of them don't. And so let's say that we're in the kitchen and we made this blackberry apple pie, right? And we want to shoot a photo of it and attach it to this recipe. Well, you can do that with the Cook and Mobile app too. You just tap this add photo button right here. And then you can tap right here to take a photo and say, ta-da! <laughs> and now you can see the image right there. And when I tap save, there's the picture of us. So that whenever we look great. back, we can go, remember when we had that blackberry oh, apple pie? Oh, it was so good. Oh, I know. You got a little bit on your nose right Do I? There. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> and now what's cool is when I go back to home and I go over here to sync and tap the sync button, cooking will actually automatically synchronize the changes that we just made. Oh, I, so we oh did, great. We did the brown sugar. And right? we'll sync it to my, my desktop. Yeah, so next time you run cooking on your desktop computer and you click sync right here. I don't have to worry about changing the sugar because I've already done it. That's great. And you don't need to click sync like I'm doing right now. Cooking will actually synchronize automatically on its own. But if you want the changes to take effect immediately, then you have to click that button and because I want to see it right now. So we went to the main dishes. And I think we went to the Rave City Ribs. Wasn't that the yeah. one we did? They were too sweet. Yep, too sweet. So we went down here and we're, there it is, one teaspoon of brown sugar. Yeah. So that's kind of neat to that be able to edit cool. your recipes when you're out and about in the kitchen right on the spot. And the other one was what the uh, food photo we added to. It was the blueberry pie. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Let's go down or the blackberry pie. Blackberry dumplings. Was that it? Or no? Let's see here. So there's our photo. Now, with, and of course, you'd most likely shoot a photo of the recipe itself. You not, know. not your face. Yeah, look at, but that is a good picture. <laughs> <laughs> and so being able to synchronize your recipes up to your cooking desktop app and then back down to your device and so forth is pretty neat. In addition to synchronizing recipes, you can email recipes to friends if you want to. If I wanted to share this with a friend, I can email it. And the other thing I can do is text it. So right there on the spot, in the kitchen, if you want to share the recipe, you can. You know what I like about this is that sometimes you'll bring a recipe to a party or you know a dish to a party, and they'll say, "Oh, I want that recipe." Uh huh. And they, you can text it or email immediately. That's awesome. Right there on the spot. Yeah. yeah without having to worry about. Oh, when I get home. When I'm... I get home. And so it's a great way to keep track of all of your recipes, and you can enter recipes on your desktop computer, and they'll automatically sync down to your device, and you can discover new recipes on your mobile device too, especially using this live recipe feed. It's a great way to get ideas of what to make for dinner. Or if you're having guests come over for the holidays or something like that. You can see in the top left corner, this one's from Pillsbury.com. And this one right here is from Food.com. Oh, so it's from different websites. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. And this one's from Betty Crocker and All Recipes and Epicurious and Taste of Home and Food Network and so forth. So the, what happens is the minute 
they post a, a recipe on one of these websites and it could be on any page of their site but the minute it's posted it's going to appear here on your feed so it's like having your finger on the pulse of recipes on the internet I love that because you know I have a lot of emails that I'm part of their list and they email me the recipes but then I have to go digging through my email or my inbox to find the recipes or decide which ones I like. Yeah. So this way I can just go through and find them and save them to my, my device. That's great. Yeah. The other thing I like about this too is a lot of times I'll be on my way home and think what am I going to make for dinner and that's when I like to go through things like this to say oh I have some chicken. Ooh, well, that looks like a good recipe. I'm going to make that. Yeah, this looks good right here. So it's a great ooh, way. To... Ooh, go back to that one. This one? Yeah. What is it? Homemade macaroon, macaroon kisses? kisses? Yeah. Okay, so if you find a recipe that you like, you just tap on it, and Cooking will open this embedded web browser and load the web page so you can see the recipe and so you can see if it's one that you like. And let's say you want this recipe, you like it, rather than print it uh -huh. or pin it. Obviously, you can't print it from your mobile phone, but you might want to pin it or something like that. Instead, what you do with Cooking is just tap capture. And what we do is we go through and scrape the contents of the web page and parse it, and then we populate the new recipe window in Cooking. Oh, that's great. You even brought the picture over. Yeah. Right there. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this, not in the Taste of Home, I'm going to create a new cookbook here called Smith Family Recipes. So this is your cookbook. I All just right. made for you. And we're going to put this in the desserts chapter, and then I'm going to tap Save here. And so the live recipe feed is a great way to discover new recipes. But in addition to that, you can actually, if you have an idea and you want to find something, you can go up here and search the internet for recipes right from your mobile device. So if you want to search for a recipe, give me an idea of what you might search for. You know, I have some ground beef in my fridge that I need to cook. Okay. So I need a recipe to go with that. So you're looking for something that calls for ground beef because otherwise it's going to go bad, right? And you're right. looking for something creative. And so with cooking right from your device, you can search the internet. Ooh, look at that curry, ground beef curry. Where's that one? There at, at the, the bottom? bottom, yeah. Okay, so if you find a recipe you like, just tap on it. And again, Cooking will load the recipe into the app, and you can take a look at it and see if it's one that you would like. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, I love that. And now if you find a recipe you like, again, you can save this or capture it. I'm going to capture it and save it into a um, main dishes chapter, let's say. I would even corrected my spelling. Did you see that? <laughs> Best thing ever. And so you can find internet recipes. You know, I'm a multitasker, so I love this because I can go through and I can grab things like if I'm at the doctor's office. That's great. You can enter new recipes too. Check this out, Wing. So here's the Smith Family Recipe Cookbook that we just created, okay. right? And there's the desserts chapter that we created with the macaroon recipe, right? And here's the main dishes chapter with the ground beef curry okay. recipe. And let's say you want to enter a new recipe in the desserts chapter called brownies. And I'm going to type in brownies for the name. So now for the directions part, instead of typing that in. Yeah, because that would take way too long. Oh, I know, huh? Instead, what I'm going to do is use Siri. So I'm going to tap here. In a large mixing bowl, whisk together the flour and the eggs, period. Gradually add in the milk and water, stirring to combine, period. Add the salt and butter. Beat them till smooth. So I just speak it into the phone. Oh, my word, that is so Isn't cool. Isn't that cool? Yes. That way you don't have to do all the typing. Oh, that's, that's amazing. And this is the coolest part. Are you ready for this? So now I've got my brownies recipe in there, right? And the others that I searched for on the internet and captured with my phone. And the others that I found from the live recipe feed. Now what I'm going to do is go here and go to sync and tap this sync button. And now Cookin's going to synchronize all those recipes up to the cloud. And so now when I go to my desktop app and I click sync, Cookin's going to synchronize those recipes. In fact, watch over here. There's the new Smith Family Recipe Cookbook with the desserts chapter. Oh, yeah. And the main dishes chapter. And here's that brownie recipe that we just entered and so forth. You know? oh, that's and great. this is the one we captured off the internet. And we got this food photo. And what was the other one? We searched for ground beef. Ground Remember, beef, yeah. we got this one, right. And look at that. We got the food photo and everything. And now, in fact, watch this. Let's say that we, we have our menu plan. And that looks pretty good. You haven't seen the new graphical way that we do menus. No, huh? I haven't. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. That way, at a glance, you can see, okay, this was for breakfast. And you can kind of make sure that everything's balanced. You I know? love that. Yeah, because you don't want two soups in a row. Oh, like I have here. <laughs> or maybe you do. <laughs> I don't think you do. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to edit this rest or okay. this menu plan, okay? And we're going to say, we don't want this soup. And so I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to choose Delete. And instead, I'm going to say, let's have ground beef curry instead. So I'm going to drag this over and drop it on lunch here. You know, the menus is one of my favorite things about cooking. And now I've got a more balanced... Oh, look at that. Yeah. 
That's so there great. we're having ground beef curry on Tuesday because we found that and it looks yummy. And when my menu's all set to go, then I just click this shopping list button here and Cooking will go through and make a grocery shopping list. It combines ah. all of the ingredients from each recipe and organizes them by aisle and so forth. That's fabulous. And I can access that from my phone? <clears throat> yeah, so this is how you do it. You just click the sync button when your shopping list is all set to go. You just click sync. And now when we go back to our mobile app, and I'm going to click sync again here, and so it's going to down sync now that shopping list. All right. And so when it's all done and it's quick, I'm going to go here and choose shopping list. And there's menu plan number one shopping list. This is my favorite part. Isn't that cool? Uh, yes, because I live and die by my phone. And so many times I'm out and I'm thinking, what am I doing this week? I'm going to go to the grocery store. I need to hurry and put together a menu. And now I have a shopping list to stop at the store on my way home. This is amazing. Right. And so now you've got your shopping list right there at your fingertips. And you can go through here as you're going through the store and say, I've got that, and I've got that, and I've got that, and so forth, as you're picking things up from that the store so and put great. it into your shopping cart. So it's a neat way to save you time and money at a grocery store. So with your shopping list at your fingertips and all these recipes from this live recipe feed right here, it. the ability to search the Internet, it's so nice to just have all your recipes at your fingertips for years. You know, we've had the cooking desktop app, number one best selling. It's done great. But having those recipes at now, my fingertips that's right yeah so i'm out and about and i can go to the store and get what i need and go home and make my recipes yeah that's and when right. you're in the kitchen all those recipes are right there at your fingertips yeah so you don't have to yeah so anyways what do you think do you like it you know i am just amazed i love cooking anyway but i love i i've never seen anything like this there's not like anything like this in the market so great job man this looks good doesn't it this pillsbury one yeah. Anyways. Oh, my turtle pie. Yeah. Oh, my turtle pie. <laughs> oh, my oh turtle my. pie. Turtle pie. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us, Wing. Yeah. And thanks for joining us out Looks there. great. I can't wait to use it.